Hey everyone, it's Annie Pratt, the president here at NEW, and I'm here with our Q1 Town Hall. Now in Q1, we set out some milestones, and I'm very excited to say that in Q1, we did what we said we were gonna do. Now that started with fundraising. We raised a cumulative $23 million into the business in Q1. That's very critical for us to continue to invest in the product programs and get product to market here very quickly. Apoor will dive into more detail on the use of funds around that fundraise, but ultimately those fundraisers are incredibly important as we continue to grow and scale and get to market. Second, we demonstrated megawatt charging in Q1. We were the first company to ever demonstrate it. We, we showed it in our building here, and then we took it outside and we invited anyone at our charge day to come and test the megawatt charging system. It was a huge success for us and a cool way to celebrate Earth Day. We also launched a new podcast called The Disconnect. You can check it out and catch some of our sort of more detailed conversations, more in-depth conversations around technology, problems we're solving and challenges that we've overcome so far. Lastly, we recently rebranded, you may have known us as Atlas Motor Vehicles before this. We are now new, this happened just a month ago, and going through that rebrand as well as that reorganization has set new up for success in Q2. This is a critical piece of aligning our vision and our storytelling with our brand and taking us in to the rest of the year. Thanks, Annie. This is a very exciting time for new. As many of you know, we recently completed a rebranding initiative that aligns our company name with the shift in our business strategy. This shift includes a renewed emphasis on energy sector and the core products we anticipate will drive revenue growth in the near term. These products include our proprietary lithium ion battery and for electric vehicles and the energy storage, as well as our megawatt charging capabilities. By concentrating our attention and resources on these products, we expect to achieve several benefits for our company and our shareholders. First, we will drive operational efficiencies by optimizing our supply chain and production processes to realize economies of scale, while reducing the complexities that are typically inherent when you have a broad set of processes, supply chain, and resources dedicated to supporting multiple product lines. A streamlined set of product offerings allows us to simplify internal processes, improve organizational effectiveness, and to bring our energy products to market faster. Secondly, we will maximize the impact of our marketing and sales initiatives by concentrating our investment on promoting and selling the products that are closest to commercialization, namely our battery and charging solutions. And last, we will drive innovation and improve product performance by better focusing on investment in R&D activities. This will allow us to stay ahead of the competition by continuously enhancing our products to meet evolving customer needs. The ability to innovate and deliver superior products will be a key differentiator for new and a distinct competitive advantage. Now, let's turn to our first quarter financials. During the first quarter of 2023, we strengthened our balance sheet and our position uh, for continued growth. We closed the quarter with a cash position of 12.9 million, a 10 million increase over prior quarter. In anticipation of delivering the first battery packs to customers this year, we recorded inventory of 678,000, a positive sign that we are moving beyond R&D. In line with our objectives to maintain a lean balance sheet, we decreased current liabilities by a million dollars versus prior quarter. We also paid off close to 16 million in convertible notes, thereby decreasing our long-term debt. Last, we raised 23 million in equity with a $10 million convertible and a $13 million follow-on in February. We use these funds to purchase critical manufacturing equipment, source raw materials, and to expand our production capacity to include multiple shifts and longer operations. Importantly, these funds give us the ability to attract and retain talent in a competitive labor environment. Taken together, these actions position us well for growth and to pursue our long-term strategy. We also incurred 2.9 million in R&D expenses, reflecting our continued investment in technology and innovation. Overall, our operating expenses were in line with expectations, and we reported a net loss of 12.4 million, or 66 cents per share for the first quarter. Looking ahead to the second quarter, we will continue our focus on execution, which includes product development and prudent expense management. We will also continue to identify and evaluate opportunities to raise capital and fund our growth with an eye towards not only being good stewards of the capital, but also creating value for shareholders. And as noted in April, we are on track to generate revenue in the second half of 2023 and drive future growth. 
The most important thing we can do is make sure that we remain focused on delivery of those first packs to our early customers so we can start recognizing revenue over the next several quarters here at New. A large focus or emphasis will also be placed on team growth. As Aporf talked about raising funding, that funding is going to ensure that we have the right team members and the right facilities and capabilities to ensure that we deliver against the expectations that our customers have, whether it's in the charging space, the energy space, or sell or pack customers that are looking to deploy this technology in their vehicles, equipment, or whatever that application might be. So over the next several quarters, what you can look forward to from us here at New is a dedicated focus in delivering product to customers, revenue recognition, as well as the deployment of our first charging solution. Remember, Victor talked about that, that consistent power delivery. That's an important emphasis, an important aspect of what we're trying to do here is consistency and experience. So deployment of that first charging solution and announcement of where that particular site is going to be. What heals faster, your tongue or your eyes? Last week we opened up for questions on our website and we got quite a few. So we're gonna just dive into them. We're gonna start off, we've had quite a few questions regarding contract status and focus plans for mobility solutions. Investors have been seeking confirmation on the continued plans for the truck and our current production focus. Uh, I mean, that's a really good question. We just rebranded, re-announced ourselves and introduced ourselves as new. And with that, we talk a lot about energy infrastructure and this future of abundant available energy, sort of this transition that we experienced in the age of data, but in the energy space. And we firmly believe that a future, especially a future that includes electric, electrification and EVs, um, energy will become abundant. It's gonna become accessible, it's gonna become distributed. And to make that vision of building a truck, which is very much so still a part of new, it's still going to eventually be you know, a much bigger focus for us, or you'll hear more about that in the future. But um, today, we have to do the things that are gonna make that really truly possible. So. Our primary focus right now, um, and what you're gonna hear about in the future and sort of going forward, especially over the next several quarters, is gonna be around the battery technology, charging and infrastructure. All of those technology pieces, when deployed in energy, infrastructure, distribution, charging networks, the ability to provide enough power to a vehicle to charge it in 15 minutes, those are key components or foundational pieces that we have to do first. Um, and part of our effort right now is deploying that, growing the business, scaling our ability to build battery cells, right? Pack solutions, the ability to provide infrastructure that can support the mobility um, solutions that we are very much so interested in developing ourselves, but of course, others that are in the market as well. So um, the truck is still a part of our mission. It's still part of our long-term vision. Um, it is uh, something that we, when we really truly like get to that and we start to talk more about that, um, our big focus today will be on building the infrastructure and the capabilities to support that. We can't do the truck without the battery and we can't do the truck without charging. That's right. And if you uh, saw the rebrand announcement, um, we talked through what we called 5% of a plan. And that first 5% is all about what you're talking about, battery and charging. Mobility comes after that. Okay, we got another question. Um, investors have asked about any recent major partnerships and company names that have submitted purchase orders and or intent to purchase new products, indicating interest in understanding the company's existing and future collaborations. So we get this question all the time, who are our first uh, customers? Unfortunately, we cannot name them. Um, that is confidential information, but we did announce, and I believe this was uh, at the very beginning of the year, two gigawatt hours of demand for news battery pack technology. And that in itself speaks to the market's desire for what we're building. And we're very excited to get those first packs to customers here this summer. Okay, we got another one. Um, there are several, several queries relating to the team's effort in enhancing battery range and reducing weight. Um, I, I mean, that's a core problem in this industry. We talked about, remember when we started, we talked about 500 miles of range, we talked about towing and, and things like that. Um, the traditional way of building batteries where you sort of take uh, an object, you put it in a box, you put it in another box, right? And then you sort of put that box within a vehicle. Uh, that's the way it's primarily done today. Uh, we are very much so focused on kind of what the next steps and how do we step through into sort of the future of that particular industry. Um, we, we believe, and here at New, our big focus is on how do we eliminate 
a number of those component systems? How do we look at new materials, new sciences, um, whether it's thermal management, right, structures and things like that, and reducing weight as much as possible? It really comes down to how do we get the most active area in a given volume for a given mass in a battery pack, not necessarily a cell. Um, the cell is super important, but uh, the focus really has to be on how do we get the most active area, the most energy in a volume and weight of a battery pack, not necessarily just the cell, and that is our focus. We're, we're trying to solve that problem because that has the most impact on reducing mass, reducing weight, increasing range, um, and sort of marching us towards that future in the mobility space. Following our recent demonstrations in megawatt plus charging, we've received questions regarding the readiness of charging infrastructure and new batteries. Uh, I, yeah, I guess I'll take that one no as way. well. Um, so uh, we've demonstrated uh, 1.2 plus megawatts of capability through a cable and a handle. First company to ever do First it. First company to ever do that. Um, then we've demonstrated a uh, what we call a pilot deployable charging station uh, that actually uses some of that same technology on the back end um, and uses some similar technology on the cable side for existing CCS customers. Um, we did that a new charging day. Uh, I think it was up to 600 kilowatt of capability or 700 kilowatts of power delivery capability in that particular system. So, um, and then of course it's tying it to the battery packs and the energy storage side of that. So what you can look forward to from new with respect to this particular space is continued progress in the energy storage, the buffer side of that, um, building out that particular business model. And then of course, um, continued progress in charging and infrastructure. Um, we are currently in the process of working through the first charging site um, that we wanted to play in. And we really want to focus on somewhere where we can bring a true need and a gap in the market. So um, for those of you that are maybe following some of the conversations around that, maybe you can guess where that's going to be, but um, as soon as we uh, we have something to announce there, we'll announce uh, progress in that particular space. Lastly, investors are rightfully curious on expected timelines for reporting and recognizing revenue from the company's efforts. I'll take that one. So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know we are on track to generate revenues and deliver product second half of this year. That was what we had uh, projected in April when we talked uh, about our focus on energy and focus on the current product set. And look, the reality is the demand is not the problem. We have tons of demand, right? What we have to focus on is execution and delivery of product. As, as soon as we're able to do that, I believe we can keep, continue to keep growing.